If someone is emotionally intelligent, they'll never say these eight phrases. These individuals who possess high emotional intelligence are noticeably keenly aware and in tune with their personal world of emotions and feelings, as well as those of others around them. They understand that every word they has a profound impact, and there are simply some phrases they would consciously avoid using in everyday conversations or interactions. Emotionally intelligent people possess an exceptional ability to perceive, use, comprehend, and manage their own emotions and those of others in a positive way. They can navigate social networks, influence others, and are typically seen as empathetic, compassionate, and understanding. They don't shy away from feelings. Instead, they let emotions lead the way to understanding deeper truths about themselves and the world around them. These emotionally intelligent individuals are excellent in empathizing, which in turn makes them great at managing relationships. They can sense the emotional needs and wants of others, understand their emotional responses, and effectively handle and influence these emotions in a positive way. This exceptional capability assists them to build stronger, more meaningful, and fulfilling relationships throughout their personal and professional lives. Interestingly, studies and research have suggested that only a mere 36% of the population can accurately identify their emotions as they occur. This relatively small percentage is quite thought-provoking. Imagine how much healthier communication would be, how much more understanding there would be if everyone could effectively identify and manage their emotions as they happen. It's fair to say, the world would certainly be a far better place if we all were just a little bit more emotionally intelligent. Can you imagine the ripple effect throughout society if we all started improving our emotional intelligence today? This can be initiated by simply eliminating certain detrimental phrases from our regular communication. This is not a complex task, but it requires conscious effort, self-awareness, and willingness. It could mean the difference between damaging a relationship or nurturing it. So, how many of these phrases are you guilty of saying? I encourage you to be honest with yourself. Reflect on your past conversations, your interactions, and your relationships. I, myself, am no exception. I have uttered a few of these phrases in the past. But the key in realization, acknowledgement, and then taking active steps to rectify our communication. So let's dive in. You can start improving your emotional intelligence right away by removing these phrases from your speech. That's not my problem. You'd never hear someone high in emotional intelligence say, that's not my problem, no matter what circumstance they're currently facing. People who are blessed with a high degree of emotional intelligence often referred to as EQ, are well aware of the value of empathy. They understand that the ability to not only understand but also share the feelings of others is a powerful tool in fostering meaningful, enduring relationships. In any situation, whether it's a minor inconvenience or a major issue, they respond with empathy and understanding, preferring to help rather than dismissing the issues as irrelevant to them. By doing this, they facilitate a deep connection with others, rooted in mutual understanding and compassion, and these often turn into long-lasting relationships. This is their strength and what sets them apart from others. People with high EQ treasure the act of showing empathy. They that empathy is not just about understanding someone else's feelings, but also about sharing their emotional experiences. They are also aware that being able to effectively communicate their understanding of these emotions to the other person is crucial. They know that this connection can bridge the gap between individuals and create a bond that can withstand a multitude of challenges. They appreciate the importance of assisting others, even when there is no immediate benefit to themselves. This is because the intrinsic value of helping others, of being able to someone's difficulties or to share in their joy, is rewarding in itself. The satisfaction derived from knowing that they have made a positive impact on someone else's life, however small, is invaluable to them. People high in EQ are big on compassion empathy for others. They thrive on being able to feel for others and connect with them on an emotional level. They shun dismissive attitudes and instead, embrace understanding and empathy as cornerstones of their interactions. Know that compassion, rather than indifference, fosters connection and growth. If you ever hear this phrase, that's not my problem, from someone, it's a dead giveaway that they've got low emotional intelligence. 
The phrase serves as a glaring indicator of the lack of sensitivity and empathy that is characteristic of those with low EQ. You're overreacting. That phrase, seemingly innocent, has become one of the most infuriating sentences to be told when you're trying to express yourself. It's like a punch in the gut, a dismissive wave of the hand that tells you that your feelings aren't valid, that you're making a fuss over nothing. It's a phrase that has the power to instantly alienate and frustrate. Is there anything more aggravating than being told you're overreacting when you're genuinely upset about something significant? It feels as if you're being silenced, stymied in your quest to express your emotions, to make your feelings known. It's a dismissal, an invalidation that can sting and linger, creating an atmosphere of mistrust and misunderstanding. Let's be honest. There are instances where people can be a bit theatrical in their responses to situations. It's human nature to sometimes overemphasize or underplay our reactions based on our emotional state at the time. It's a part of our inherent complexity, of our capacity for deep feeling and passionate response. However, despite this tendency for occasional exaggeration, it's still not acceptable to dismissively say to someone, you're too sensitive. It's a phrase that belittles and undermines, that invalidates another's emotional experience. It can serve to further exacerbate the problem at hand, creating additional tension and conflict. Those with high emotional intelligence, or EQ, would never resort to those tactics. They understand the importance of emotional validation, of supporting others in their emotional experiences rather than belittling their feelings. They comprehend the significance of empathy, of stepping into others' shoes to truly understand their perspective. They know how crucial it is to let people know they are seen, that their emotions are acknowledged, and that they are cared for. High EQ individuals are proficient at providing emotional validation and support. They are their friend's emotional rock, the unwavering pillar of support when their friends need it most. They don't dismiss, they don't belittle, they don't undermine, they listen and support. They extend a hand when a friend is in need, they offer a listening ear when a friend needs to vent, and they offer words of comfort and understanding when a friend is in distress. You're overreacting, a simple phrase, yet one imbued with so much potential for damage, one that those with high EQ would never use, as they comprehend the importance of emotional validation. They're adept at providing emotional validation and support when their friends need it most. It was just a joke, chill. Haven't we all been part of a conversation where a joke flopped and fell flat, shattering the mirthful ambiance? It's true that we've all uncomfortably witnessed a quip, a jest, a comical remark that the raconteur had hoped would be a hit, but instead, it awkwardly hovered in the air, leaving a trail of discomfort. Indeed, it is a universally shared experience, one that leaves us squirming and wishing for the ground to swallow us whole. In these situations, people with a high level of emotional intelligence, or EQ as it is known, would never, under any circumstances, try to simply brush it off or take refuge behind the flimsy protection of the claim that it was meant to be just a joke. They wouldn't even dream of it. They are acutely aware, with a profundity that is both admirable and humbling, of how their words and actions can dramatically impact someone else, even if they did not intend for it to be so. They understand, with an insight that is born out of empathy, compassion, and a deep understanding of human emotions, that every word they utter, every action they take, has the potential to touch the lives of others, for better or for worse. They know that their intentions, no matter how noble, can sometimes be overlooked, misunderstood, or even completely ignored, resulting in unintended consequences that can have far-reaching implications. So if you genuinely want to project yourself as someone with high intelligence, if you earnestly want to come across as a person who understands and respects the emotional landscape of others, here's a word of advice. Avoid using this phrase altogether. Always remember, knowledge is power, but understanding is far more potent. It's not necessary to shield behind humor. Instead, let your emotional intelligence shine through your actions and words. You're too sensitive. It's a statement I've being frequently used. In various contexts, people may dismissively remark, oh, she's just overly sensitive, or he's acting a bit touchy. But why is sensitivity viewed with such negativity? What's inherently wrong with being sensitive? The reality is, when response to your offense is to label you as too sensitive, 
It's an indicator of their emotional intelligence deficiency. Emotional intelligence, commonly referred to as EQ, is often characterized by a high valuation of empathy and understanding. Thus, when an individual dismisses another's feelings by saying they're sensitive, it reveals a profound lack of empathy on their part. Empathy is about seeing the world as others see being aware of and understanding another's feeling, and acting in an understanding manner. Individuals with high EQ not only acknowledge but respect the emotions of others, instead of minimizing or diminishing them. So, when you encounter someone who labels you too sensitive, remember that it says more about their empathy levels than about you. Someone with high EQ acknowledges and respects people's emotions and wouldn't minimize them. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And for more content like this, please hit the notification bell.